Hi everyone, so I'm with Shell and Shell's learning how to do ECGs now. She's in an ambulance, she's, Shell comes from a nursing background. You can see she looks very confused because she's in an ambulance and we're using a life pack. Now I've already gone through and prepared earlier my details sitting in there. So that's already done. So I'm gonna jump in um, onto the bed and Shell's gonna pop, I'm gonna run Shell through Get popping all the dots on. So I'm going to give that to you. Your first instruction is to your patient whip their shirt off. So sorry about this form of abuse seeing me without my shirt on. I understand that but there's always a little bit of pain in learning isn't there? Right. So oh yeah yeah trying to avoid my hairy back. Right. So oh, the belt buckles. They're in some funny spots. Right, -o. so can we reverse this camera around? Yes. No, I'll just do yeah, that. Yeah, we can. Oh, right, Shell's trying to show me how to be technical. Maybe not. Maybe not, right, -o. so maybe I did know what I was talking about. So I'm just going to hold that like that and we'll hope for the best. So, first off, you yeah, have. Yep, yeah. yeah, bring the leads over. So you have two lots of leads, you have that lot, don't worry about those ones yet. You should have some limb leads from the machine. Oh, that buckle's just in the wrong spot. Oh. Righto. These leads? They're the ones. Yep. So come back around. So we're going to do wrists and ankles. So Please. just yep, whip that one open. Be aggressive with it. Oh, people are dying here. <laughs> don't don't have time to look at instructions. Right so just whisk the plastic coating off there. Yep, just rip the back off. So that's right wrist. Okay, then. Sorry, we're trying to be really clever here and record as we're going here. Oop. And then both my ankles. On the inside? Yep. And does it matter which way they face? No, not at all. So we're just whacking so them? A, yeah, just whack it on. So there's a I'm going to have fun removing these later. Yes, you will. <laughs> I shall have the whole chestage going on here. Wax time. Righto. So... Uh, from that, you can get your leads and put them on the, um, clip them on. So there's there's tons of different types of leads. Um, don't get too worked up about the different types. Let's just work out where they go. So that's RL for right leg. That one. Okay. RA for right right arm. LA, left arm. And I'm tipping that to you to say LL, which will be left leg, and then I'll go down there. Now from this, you can actually, I'll give you the phone so you can have a look at the screen. You can go there and you can actually monitor my heart rhythm. So if you want to, you can press the print button. You can see the print button on the left hand side. Oh, she's got to wonder around. <laughs> uh, print. Print, yeah, so press it once and just wait, have patience. And then press it once more and just wait and have patience. And it'll stop. And just tear that off. That's General. not as, no, that's not as easy as it looks either. Okay. Well. Well, well, it is. You just can't be fairy about it. All right. So, as you can see there, it's a bit of a rhythm strip. Um, it's not quite a six-second strip um, because we've actually pulled that up. Oh no. Yeah, it is. It's just a six-second strip. So, if you're good with your paper, and you can see it focusing in there, you can see just above the 
heart rate 78 one little mark there and then if you keep going over there's another one there so you can work that actually that there that's not six seconds that's three seconds to there and over the 78 and over the nine there's another one so from there to there is a six second strip hope that makes some form of sense to you righto anyway ecg time so that's the oh, we're dying that's the um that's the rhythm just pop that on my leg there the bulk of it just pop it on my leg so it's not playing out there we go cool righto so ecg dots now normally speaking you would shave my chest because it won't work so well but I think Shell's having a little bit of fun, going to have a little bit of fun pushing on. So we're going to start with V1, where it goes. Now it goes in the fourth intercostal space on the right sternal border. So come down this side first. So fourth intercostal. So feel my clavicle. So you got my clavicle. Okay, go underneath my clavicle. You feel underneath my clavicle. Mm -hmm. And now you can feel the top of my rib. Yep. Okay, go down one space. That's the first intercostal space. Yep. Okay, keep working your way down. Rib spaces, you'll have to press hard. Can you feel the second space? Yep. Okay, so second intercostal. Next one. Got it? Yep. That's the third. So next one again. And that's a space. Yeah. Yep. Fourth intercostal space. Yep. I think we might be down. Too far? No, not far enough. Uh, one. That's two there. Ah. That's three there. Oh, there it is. That's four there. Yep. So right there. So if you're new to this, you're actually going to have to press quite hard. So the centre of the dot needs to go right where your finger is. Right there. Yeah, I'll hold it on there while you pull the pull the thing off. Doesn't matter whether the knob's top or bottom. Doesn't really matter. Okay. So V1 goes right sternal, fourth intercostal space, space right sternal border. V2 goes fourth intercostal space left sternal border so just over the other side yeah. no no so but I'm in the center there yeah so you need to go about there about there yep now that's sort of centerish right oh so now you're going to place v4 now v4 goes on the fifth in this costal space so that's the next one down mid clavicular line so you see my clavicle up here mm -hmm. so that's my clavicle mid clavicular line is there so it's going to go basically down to there fifth in costal space i actually think we probably need to oh watch job all right and there about there in there? Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Now we're going to place V6. V6 goes on the same plane on the mid auxilla line. So the mid auxilla line is there. So basically, oh, sorry. The mid auxilla line is there. So basically, you come across and just place it right there. Hold. Apparently that was some reasonably crappy camera work on my behalf. Right, eh? Good job. So now all we have to do is we have to place V3 and V5. So V3 goes halfway between V4 and V2 in there. Excellent. And V5 goes halfway between V6 and V4. Which is? That's V4 there, and that's V6 there, so halfway in between those two. Now there. Righto. So basically now what you need to do is get the leads, those leads, and start popping them on. V6. Okay. 
Most people work from one, but if you want to work ass about, that's <laughs> totally acceptable. <laughs> I'm just going from what I've got. I'm sure you are. Okay. Anyway. All right, where's V1? V1. Where was V1? That's V1. Okay, you happy now? Yeah, I mean, I'm quite enjoying my heart attack right now, but thank I you know, very shush. much. Uh, V2? Christ, I'm not teaching you cannulation. Oh, that's the next thing. That, that's going to be awesome. Okay, V3. V3. Yes? Yep. Four. Four. Who likes my nails? Do you reckon they're pretty cool? Righto, so basically plug, so open that up there. Plug that into there. Other way around. Yeah, that's it, and just drop that on top of me. Yeah. Toddle that around with yourself around to the machine. And what I get people to do is to pick up the Jesus stance. So basically you want them to lie on the bed or the stretcher. Basically like this. Oh. <laughs> All right, now if you wander around the machine. Without. Caught on that cord. Go on, wander past aggressively. You <laughs> can't reach if you're. I know I can't reach. Okay, I'm at the machine. Alright, so now that everything's settled down a bit again, there's a on the left hand side of the machine, there's a button that says 12 lead. Yep. Press that. It's acquiring. I didn't say anything because if, you get so, if someone talks or moves, it really breaks the recording. Okay, so that comes off, rip that off. Are you recording yourself ripping that off? I did. Because <laughs> you weren't very good at that. <laughs> and so basically, now you can see, an EC, see the ECG. So reading an ECG, that's a whole different animal on itself. You need to take a very, very systematic approach to doing it. And um, realistically, that's, that's for another day. Um, what you would look about this um, is recording-wise. You can see how there's a fair bit of artifact in here. Um, now, there could be a couple of things causing that. Number one, if you look up, you can see some um, fluoro lights. Fluoro lights can be causing it. The fact if the car's running, the air conditioner's on, um, there's lots of things that can actually be causing that. So um, you might want to try and get a better recording. Um, but that's probably good enough um, in the start. Um, yeah, um, there you have a 12 lead ECG. So the important idea is just remember your placement. So go for your um, your wrists and your legs. Now you can do um, delts and biceps as well. Um, but just remember that the algorithm in that life pack is expecting you to have, if, it's, if you're looking at using it to read your ECG, the algorithm in the life pack is expecting you to have it on um, wrists and ankles um, and then just remember your dot placement again for me my chest should be shaved um, but about three minutes time apparently it's going to be waxed so who cares all right